Hey everyone, I am here with Ray and Ray is the landscape manager. The landscape manager yes. and um, he's rushing me to the front. So I'm just going to ask him what all these plants are. Sure. Okay, Ray, go. Okay, um, this one here is uh -huh. the manila palm. Okay. Um, the one at the back of it is the fan palm. Right? The manila palm, um, the, uh, the variety right around the property, right? So you'll find the manila palms grown a lot around the property. They are single unit palm, where single unit meaning that um, they grow by themselves as the coconut morning. tree grows, uh -huh. right? Uh, morning. We have the uh, more cluster palms, which um, like the finger palms, the finger palms are cluster palms. So the finger palms yes. is this one here? This bunch here. Oh, this bunch so you here. So see how okay. they cluster around? Uh -huh. So we call this the cluster palms. Okay. So the cluster palm variety, the uh, finger palms and the areca palms, right? Okay. This one here is a fishtail palm. Okay. Are we going that way? Yeah, this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we go right to the front desk. So this is a fishtail, fish right? Okay. And another cluster palm, the areca palm, this one here. Okay. Right? So they grow in clusters. Ah. Right? This one here is the Makata palm, right? The Makata is another cluster palm. Man, you are the expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the whole idea is to provide extra shade. Extra right? shade, exactly. Right. Uh, these here, we are, these here are these spider lilies. Uh -huh. This is the green variety. They are different species of spider lilies. Okay. Uh, when you know they are very healthy, they produce to six to eight flowers. Ah, uh, right? okay. So um, now they they get any rainfall that they need, the flower buds are coming out so yeah. in the abundance. So. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So how long yes. have you been doing this stuff? Um, twenty years. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> So did you go to special school for this? Or? Uh, just more on hands-on training on the job. I used to work at agriculture in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, see, I recognize yeah. that Trinidad yes, accent yes. there, right? <laughs> so I'm originally from Trinidad. Uh, okay. Right. So, um, as we go along here, we have the um, philodendron vine, better known as the running fig. Oh, okay. Uh, they provide forty percent of oxygen in the night time, if you didn't know. So, uh, well, thank you very, very much. We need that. To have around. <laughs> yeah. So, forty percent of the oxygen they produce at night. Okay. Um, they grow basically like a, a vine. It's a vine that runs. Uh huh. Right. The bigger leaves are on top, where they provide the sunlight, they will open out on top. They will ah, expand okay. to about ten or five to ten times the size they are now and they produce a yellow and green color, which will um, cause photosynthesis to take place to feed the rest of the plants below. Ah, which is right? good. Yeah, yeah. This I'm is, so glad um, you understand all yes. this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the um, black willow. This okay. is one of the evasive species in Antigua. Oh, this is right? the, red, the, the, the one with the red thing here. Yes, it's oh, okay. a beautiful shade plant along with aesthetics. They provide as the bud opens, uh -huh. you realize there's a nice orange hue inside. Uh, from a distance, it looks like you know little ribbons they cut on a tree once the buds are open. Ah, so, okay. Um, aside from ambience, they add a lot of shade and um, they are very evasive species, especially to the kind of weather we have in Antigua. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. This one here is also the Makata palm, another cluster palm. Uh huh. Right. Um, we have some shrubbery there, the uh, crotons. Yeah, I love crotons. Yeah. I grew yeah. up with those so in my backyard. Have, um, the most of the crotons we have here are the arrowheads. Uh -huh. the, the more um, evasive species, the arrowheads. This is the uh, foxtail grass, right? Oh, okay. Now, they are more sun plants. They, yeah. When the sun hits them, they get the nice purple hue on the leaves. Oh, okay. Right? Once they're in the shade, they will remain green. The leaves will remain green. Very cool. So, there are two varieties. There's a the green species and there's a the red uh, when the sun hits them, the entire leaves, they, they turn red, purplish red hue. Okay. Right? But a very beautiful um, grass to have, like to add aesthetics to the property. Um, we have the banana plantation here. Um, we usually think of, we have uh, probably five species of bananas. Okay. This one uh, is the Lakatan species. Um, they grow a very, you know, huge bunch, up to 20 hands of bananas ah, on okay. one bunch. So, so just a hand is, is um, so yeah, each, each of those is one, one banana yeah, one and hand. a hand is yes. the entire yes. thing because it That's actually it. looks yes. like your hand yes. when you do the so thing So one there. hand, um, probably one bunch contains probably uh, 20 hands of bananas, one okay. fully grown. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's amazing. So what's that red one right there? That's the Bougainvillea. Oh, okay. Uh, we have different varieties of Bougainvillea. 
Um, we have the variegated species, which uh -huh. are the two-leaf color. Gotcha. Uh, this is the more common one. Uh, this is the red bougainvillea. It's more common, so you will have a lot of these growing. Because the variegated species are very sensitive, they, uh -huh. you know, they, they need that extra um, push to, for them to grow, like how the red one grows. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Nah, that's pretty amazing. Yes. And all over the Caribbean, the bougainvillea is what you see a lot, right? Yes, a lot. Because yeah. they love the sunlight to uh -huh. produce the flowers, as the, um, the um, philodendron. Yeah. Right? So, um, this, um, this is one we call the dancing lady. Which one? This, this one, one here? here? Okay. Right? Because uh, the leaves resembles a skirt of uh, a lady dancing. Ah, oh, okay. Usually we prune it, but the, the original thing, it grows up into a straight line. Yeah. So, it produces a kind of, you know, flare. Going up. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And Quite we have um, different species of hibiscus also. Ah, there we go. Yeah. In the in the young stage, yes, right? Yes. This is the sea grapes. Uh, the sea grapes that we have here. We uh -huh. have two species of sea grapes. One is the um, Mexican sea grapes, right? And this one is the normal sea grapes that you have all over um, the shore shoreline. Ah, right? okay. Can you eat these? Yes, you can. They're uh -huh. rich in vitamin C. Uh -huh. um, right now, there are little bunches on them. Um, you may see a couple full bunches. So how do you know when they're ripe? Uh, you will see the color is, is uh, purple. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just like a grape. All right, gotcha. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Yes, so um, as I said, the more invasive species, we have the arrowhead, proton. Oh, right. which so is this one here, right? Yeah. So you okay. see it's like an arrow, right? So these, oh, are, okay. these are the species and the, uh, they are also sun plants. Yeah. So once the sun hits them, they get the color. They get the reddish, orange hue. Gotcha. But once they're in the shade, they will remain green until the sun actually hits them, you know, full sun. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey, good morning. <laughs> well done. I'm so glad I saw you. Yes. <laughs> yes. And this uh, is the other sea grapes, as I told you. This is the um, Mexican sea grapes. That's which one? This one yeah, here? this one here. Okay, right? this, this one here. This right? is a white okay. flower and a white berry. Ah, white okay. Grape, right? So this is the um, softer variety to the sea grapes, uh -huh. right? To the usual sea grapes that we have here on the property. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's a beautiful property, yes, I mean. Yes. So, so is the rain finished for today? Um, hopefully, yes. <laughs> I, I have some plans to plant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this ah. is the nursery here. Um, ah, okay. That feeds the entire property. Yeah. You know, um, the nursery consists of all different plants you see all around the property. Morning. So we reproduce um, the younger plants so that all the plants that has been damaged or needs to be replaced, uh -huh. we replace them from the nursery. All right, very yeah. cool. Well, Ray, thank you very, very You're much. Welcome. I appreciate it. Yes, yes. And folks, this is Ray at the Veranda Resort I telling am. us about um, all the stuff that he yes. plants on here. Come visit us soon. Very good. Thank you, Ray. You're I appreciate welcome. it. So Ray is carrying on. <laughs>